Hey you, in today's video, we're gonna see what's up with this new powder from Makeup Forever. This is a new HD Skin Twist and Light 24 Hours Luminous Finish Powder. I'm gonna be doing a wear test. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about it, if I like it, if I don't, and of course, if it's worth your money. I think Makeup Forever is killing it with this outside packaging. The black and red looks so exotic. They should do the inside with the same colors. I love it. It looks just like my hair. <laughs> you already know that this powder reminds me a lot to this one from Givenchy. This one is the Prime Sleeve, which is holy grail for a lot of us. So, of course, we're going to have to compare them. In fact, I have both of them on right now, one in each side of the face. I'm not going to tell you which one is which one. But let me tell you that I've been wearing them for a couple of hours. This powder is $45, made in Italy, and it's available in four shades. First things first, we have to talk about this dope ass packaging that it is so innovative. This packaging is given everything that any other powder packaging should give us. Just look at this. There's no way to get messy with this packaging. You have your three shades right here. The powder's coming out right here on the center. You stick your brush in there. And to get the powder out, all you have to do is just twist this little top back and forth. And look how dope this is. Your powder's coming out. So we have a clean base. I've been doing so many videos. I've been going back and forth. And my face right now is just, you gotta take a break. And my eye look is starting to look like shit because I keep taking my makeup off and then doing my skincare all over again. Oh my gosh, bro. First, we have to put some foundation and I'm gonna be using this one from Gucci because I don't want nothing too glowy. Or too matte. I want to keep it like right in the middle so you can be able to see whatever glow comes from the powder and all of that good stuff. Oh my god, this foundation. I love it. You have to get this during the sale. Just look, it immediately just makes the skin perfect. I'm using my full coverage foundation brush from Bobby Brown because I want to get the most out of this foundation but for the forehead i like to use something a little smaller so i've been using this brush from rose and ben's beauty because it goes like right here perfectly and on the forehead you see i don't like to get foundation on my brows and then boom to just finish everything up and get the flawless finish, I'm gonna go with my beauty blender. <laughs> this is a new brush from Guerlain, but oh, this is a sponge. This does not feel like a brush. For concealer, I'm gonna be using a little bit of my Magic Touch from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is another concealer that I also recommend if you like a full cover concealer but lightweight that they look natural. Just look at this. This seriously blends like a dream. And look at the coverage. It's full B and it doesn't feel like a full coverage concealer. Let me do my contour. I've been using Milk. basically every day this is the shade stroke i've been mixing them together because i like the shade toasted for contour and stroke as bronzer but whenever i'm in a rush and i just want the pigmentation to just be there from the beginning i just go in with the shade stroke because it's a little darker than toast let me go finish my face i need bronzer blush and then i'll be right back to set it and forget it Blend a little bit of rose tan from Hermes. 
Now it is time to put this baby to the test. And here we're getting eight grams of product. And this is a three in one powder that is going to unify, correct, and revive the complexion. This is supposed to illuminate the skin for 24 hours and it's infused with flapper pigments and spherical powders that reflects and diffuse light for a luminous soft focus effect. With those active ingredients, I think this powder is gonna be very glowy, but let's just open it up. In this packaging, I'm obsessed. So obsessed, it's to die for. I love the color, it's super classy, but what they did right here, they killed it. We have to give it to Makeup Forever just because of the packaging, if anything. The situation of the powder coming out in the middle and then all you have to do is just stick your brush in there and grab the powder. It's just it. Even a brush bigger than this one fits perfectly right there. I picked up the shade medium and here we have the three shades. One, it's gonna be a skin matching shade that it's going to even out your skin tone and cover this coloration and it's gonna give you light coverage. Then we have the color correcting shade that is going to neutralize the skin. And then the other shade, it is the shade that is going to revive the skin. It's gonna give you the lid coming with an end. I'm not gonna lie though, even though I love this freaking packaging, it is a little hard to twist. I mean, it's getting a little softer, so I'm guessing when you first do it, it's gonna hurt your hands, so be prepared. I tried doing it with the tapa on like this, but I don't like it like this because then you have the bottom and then the top, it's moving and everything is just more complicated. So the best way it is open it up, hold it from the top and then just twist the cap and then just hold it up. You don't have to face it down. Then you have your powder coming out right there or three shades. After everything is there, the best thing to do is just put the top back on really quick, face it down, makes it three shades really quick. And then now you have all the three colors evenly mixed together because before it was like the peach this color everything separate and you don't want to end up grabbing a little bit more than one shade because it won't give you the same effect now this is a finishing powder so that's the way that we're gonna use it i always set my concealer with my pomegranate powder that's what i did today i picked up a little bit and i'm going to slightly set my concealer i'm not gonna set my foundation i'm gonna be using this powder we're gonna be comparing it to this one from Givenchy. So first, I'm gonna pick up a little bit with my Inochige brush from Sony and G. And then now, I'm just gonna apply right under my eyes on top of the Pomegranate powder. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more for the forehead. And look how blurting and mattified this powder is. See, right here, the difference. I clean my contour or my smile lines. And of course, on my pore area. Now I'm gonna wipe off this brush and the little towel that I have right here in front of me because I don't wanna have no residue from the powder that we just used from Givenchy. Now it's clean. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did in this side. I'm gonna just take my brush in there. I have a good amount of powder. Let me just dust a little bit. And then now I'm gonna apply directly into my under eyes. Now, there is some glitter going on on this powder, guys. You see it right there, it's there. Let me apply a little bit right here to ah, the back of my head so I can give you a good swatch. This powder it is super, super fine. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the little perils and they're very tiny and fine but they're there i'm just letting you know 
where you definitely do see the glow. Wow. It is very glowy. Hopefully it doesn't look like this on the skin. But whatever, I brought you all the way in and let's do this. Hmm. So it gave me like a little brightening effect. See? So it doesn't look like this. That's good. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and I'm gonna apply right here directly on my pore area. Damn, even though it's really glowy, you can't lie though, it looks good. See how it's giving me like an all lower highlighter situation? And it looks really nice under the eyes. You see the lid coming with an N that they're talking about? Look how pretty and soft it looks. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. And this is really blurting. See, like it's glowing. But blurting, where they do that at? Normally it's like the more mattifying powders that they're a little bit more on the blurred inside. I haven't really seen that many glowy powders that they look this smooth, this soft and blurred. I like it. And it's like, I keep going in, I'm going actually ham bananas with this powder. And it's like, it doesn't matter how much you put on. Look at this. It still looks good, see? It doesn't look great at all on the skin. Here you have both the powders, the new one from Makeup Forever. As you can see, it is glowy. And then this one from Givenchy, it is matte. If this powder, looks on point at the end of the day because we are gonna do a wear test we're gonna have it on both of them for a couple of hours but i'm telling you right now that if everything it's everything with this powder even if you have this one from Givenchy, you're gonna need this one then. I was a little intimidating about all the particles of sparkles that we have going on in here but nope they're not intimidating me no more at all now look at the finish look at my cheek you see how the side it's more like in your face hmm. the perfect description what i'm getting off this powder as right now because remember we still have to see how it wears but this it's almost this but glowy it's just gonna you know really revive your skin it's gonna give you that glow it's gonna give you that plumpiness that popping effect really quick let's see what's up with the white cast because that's important when it comes to powder see you know we can't be taking pictures and then come out like freaking gasp for the friendly goals so let's take a picture with flash really quick Why, guys? No, look at this. It looks perfect. It does look good right directly on top of your pores. I like it. But try to don't apply too much. I want a little hem. Just apply a little bit and keep it moving. Let me do what I gotta do. And I see you right here at the end of the day. Mwah. Now, the day today is great, it's been raining, but whatever. This is the side with the Makeup Forever powder. I have it all over, even under my eye. And even though it's glowy, it looks good. It's not emphasizing my texture. It looks good right here on top of my pores. And this is the side with the Givenchy powder that we already love. But they're totally different powders, totally different finishes. This is glowy and this is matte. But so far, I am liking this powder from Makeup Forever.
I already had the powder sewn for about five hours. Remember, Makeup Forever and Givenchy on the other side. This one, we already know that it's more mattifying, but of course, we already know that it looks good. And then in here, I have my flash on because I want you to be able to see the little pearls. And you see how you do see the little particles of glitter everywhere? They're all over. But they look good. And some way, somehow, they're blurting in my pores. And then my skin is just looking so good with this powder on. Like, it gives a beautiful glow. I'm back and we already had both of these powders on my face for a little longer than eight hours. Remember that this one, it's in this side of the face and the one from Givenchy in this side. And my skin, it is just giving me life, especially this side. Let me bring you closer. I lower my lights, you're all up in my grill, and here you have the makeup forever. And that glow is just glowing. And then of course, you already know that this powder from Givenchy, it's beautiful, I love it, and of course, I 100% recommend it. But again, they're totally different powders. This looks matte, but still looks natural. And this is just giving me this beautiful, yummy, juicy finish. I know that if I would have applied any other powder matte, my nose right now would have looked crazy. 100% more dry. Maybe I would have been peeling by now. And even though you still see the dry patches going on right there, they don't look bad. I have to confess to you that I really didn't think I was gonna like this powder as much as I'm liking it. Like I really freaking love it. I love the way it looks all over, under my eyes. And I'm sure that you can clearly see that if you compare both of my under eyes and my whole entire face, to be honest with you, this powder is just making it glow. It's making it look fuller and plumpy. And you see how this, it's just standing out compared to this side. Even though I still like this side, this is just looking a little bit more dull and calm. This powder is just so good, so lightweight, and undetectable on the skin. The claims are 100% real. This powder totally correct my complexion. There's no darkness, no hyperpigmentation, no scars at all in this side of the face. It does an amazing job as finishing powder, even if you use it on top of another powder, any powder, like I did on my under eyes that I set my concealer first with the Pomegranate powder, and then I went in with this one on top, and this just added the most beautiful final touch. It's crazy how at first I was a little bit concerned with the sparkles, the perils, but now I get the point because it truly made the skin look elegant and classy. If you're like me and you don't like particles of glitters in your complexion at all, like I don't even like my concealers with light reflecting pearls at all. I stay away from those type of concealers. But when I tell you that this powder looks stunning under the eyes, you have to believe me. I do recommend you to apply the powder as a finishing powder and with a brush so you can get more of an even application because if you go in with a puff, you might get too much. Again, if you bake, bake as regular with the regular powder that you usually use for baking and then go in with this powder as the final step and oh, that's just gonna... Give it to your skin. And I also noticed that the perils, they're a lot less noticeable throughout the day. Like right now, after the powder came on my skin for so many hours, you can barely see those little tiny sparkles at all. Like they're barely there. So that's a good thing. Even though, trust me, they look beautiful on the skin. But this is just what it is. 10 out of 10. You need it in your life. I love how blurred it is. It looks just perfect on the skin. 
skin. I love the way it's smooth everything now and then the glow, but at the same time, it's not like a crazy glow. This is just gonna give you the most perfect, popping, subtle, beautiful glow. And I love, love this powder for dry skin. But all right, boo thing, if you enjoyed this video, give me thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below and let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this powder and don't forget that i love you to the moon and back Mwah. see you on the next one